nine characteristics of adults who experience childhood emotional neglect. It is those adults who are likely to find themselves in unhealthy adult relationships. Later on, that is. So the first characteristic is that they experience low self-esteem and shame. Lots and lots of shame. Lots and lots of should have, would have, could have. And all those equal shame. Because you feel like you didn't do enough. Like you're not good enough. You could have, should have done a better job. But you didn't. And then there's shame in that. If you had good parents and you had everything that you needed when you were growing up, like a roof over your head and food on the table and clothes on your back, but you weren't taught important life lessons or weren't supported and loved through learning them, that weighs heavily on you. It makes you feel inadequate and inferior and ashamed of yourself. And without positive reinforcement, of course you're going to experience low self-esteem. It shows up in a narcissistic relationship too. You feel like you're not even worthy enough of deserving to receive good praise. Childhood emotional neglect, narcissistic relationship. They go hand in hand. Which leads to characteristic number two. You become really hard on yourself, like harder on yourself than anyone else would ever be on you or than you are on anyone else. It leads you to feeling like you lack belonging. You lack connection. You feel like you don't belong anywhere, even among your circle of friends and family. You feel like an outsider looking in. You should feel uncomfortable in those situations. And who finds comfort in being uncomfortable? This makes you feel completely disconnected. And then you may step outside of that and go, I don't need anybody and be very, very independent and be extremely proud of that because you don't trust anyone. It doesn't feel safe to let anyone in because you feel like they're going to let you down or hurt you the way that you've been let down and hurt in the past. Then maybe you struggle with self-discipline. I feel like you haven't met your goals in life or found your purpose, leaving you feeling powerless to change your current situation. It can lead to making you feel isolated, feeling like your home or your room is a safe place that you never ever want to come out of. Another characteristic is you're not in touch with your feelings. You don't even know what you feel. You feel so disassociated, so far from them, so disconnected from your feelings. You don't understand them or what they mean. You struggle with regulating your emotions. And so your job in your answer is just push them down, suppress them. Don't even feel them because feeling them feels too painful. And then you go find labels that you connect with like ADD, ADHD, OCD, PTSD. And yes, maybe it's valid and true that you have symptoms of all those things, but you're not a symptom and you're not a label. You're a human who didn't have their emotional needs met. When you're ready to heal from the wounds that those caused, let's connect.